<laughs> special guest for our summer music series. Let's let's make this happen. Tell me we're making this let's happen. Let's hope. Yo. Is this Wait MC Frontalad? Of course this is MC Frontalad. Yes! Yes! MC Frontalot joining us for the Summer Music Series, the founder of Nerdcore Hip Hop himself, one of the most exciting guests we've ever had. Sorry, Satan <laughs> Iaz. You just got bumped by MC Frontalot, our new uh. favorite BFF in the entire world. The chat room is going nuts. I wish you could see them right now. They are exploding with joy. MC Frontalot, how are you doing, sir? I'm doing all right. And that's, I got to say, the exact reaction I like to receive when I Skype into somewhere. That's right. Just anywhere yes. you go. Whenever you call people, you get pissed if they don't instantly react that way. Every time they pick up the phone, they're like, hello? You're like, it's MC Front a lot. And if they don't explode with that Oh, my joy, God! Just hang up on them. Just you're done with them. They're of no it's use It's a new you, hello. Dude. That should be done all the time. <laughs> uh, dude, this is well, MC, thank you so that, uh, much Justin for joining us. Who, Oh, my yeah, pleasure. Justin's the one who, who, who got a hold of you, so I'll let him set everything up. I don't know what you guys have discussed in advance, but, dude, you have no idea what a serious honor it is to have you on the show, man. Oh, very kind. Thanks. Lovely uh, to be right, here. Well, let, let, let me tell you what, folks. Uh, MC Frontalot's new album is called Solved. It comes out August 23rd, but the pre-orders are open as of one week ago, and anyone who buys it now will download it immediately. Folks, Frontalot dot com slash cd and we will uh, have the tour dates after the first song are we gonna do first word problems first mc do you guys want to hear that song hells uh, to the yeah, yes whatever, whatever you're ready for all right let's see what we got here this is a oh this is the song first world problems it's from zero day the current album the album that's already out and has been out for over a year and in fact this video has been out for nearly a year um and Nerd rap infest your internet. You left a trap, but it's empty. MC from a lot took a gate, but the bait wasn't tempting. Ending up uncaged at large to talk smack at you through the networking appliance that's in charge of every drip of your attention. Yo, when mine goes out, I've got to log in just to mention my disappointment at the interruption of convenience. I mean, just a lot left, but none of in between. This couple of minutes here, couple of minutes later, it's an outrage at the price I pay. These dictators of my leisure rule with an iron fist. Anybody ever been so put a what is this? Your GPS run out of battery. First world problem. Got to wake up Saturday. First world problem. Just delayed your honeymoon. First world problem. Pledge season's coming soon. First world problem. Half your friend list is spam accounts. First world problem. And your center channel speakers First out. First world problem. Your center channel speakers out on the NSF show because of the studio. Yeah! Oh, sh you know what? Just to prove that it's live, I'm going to stop the song after one verse. How's that sound? Ah, you, is it, dude, brought... it was so good. Was it was amazing. a problem. Everybody in the chat room was pissed. Like, that like, live? Oh, I get it. Just hit play on your MP3. What abs? And then you suddenly rock their faces off by mentioning the show and stopping it in the middle. Dude, that was the yeah. greatest moment of my entire life. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I, even, I even accurately said like three of the four letters of the name of your show. It was... Yeah, that no, is pro dude, that's that some professional great. rapping. And that was that three is. more than we deserved, MC. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I would like to point out that um, there's this incredibly charming young, he looks like a teenager, I don't know, um, but he has basically done his interpretation of my song where he took all the politics and narrative elements out of it, and he made it like a nice little all-comedy version of uh, First World Problems rap, and then he got like a million views for it in a week, and I am very, I'm very proud of the fact that ideas that I have can get a million he, views, he even though he I can't. You up, though. I mean, you, you still rule the, the roost on that, right? Huh? Oh, no. Mine has, like, got 100. My video for that song is, like, 150,000 views. So tell your okay, current 1,116 okay. viewers to each watch it uh, 100 times. Okay. Yes. Done. Well, please, go ahead. You have watch no idea the power problems. of our wetware botnet. Uh, and, and also, that's what I, I like do to want hear. to point everybody to frontalot.com. Uh, of course, you are touring the U.S., the Midwest, Rockies, and West Coast, August 13th through September 10th. You're going to be in the U.K. September 15th through August or October 16th, and you're opening for Weedis in the U.S. again in the South, in the, the UK. Plain, East Coast, and New England. Oh, sorry, no, that's um, in the U.K. You're opening for Weedis. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, and then in the U.S. again, the South, the Plains, East Coast, New England, October 21st through November 16th. 
Throwingalot.com slash info is where you want to keep it locked so you can make sure oh, yeah, that's you the do tour not miss stuff. Throwing a lot when it comes to your town. But uh, let me ask this. So I know that um, uh, you obviously, uh, at, was, were you tempted, because you started uh, in earnest around what, 1999 or so, when you, you know, was full-time started rocking? Uh, full time, actually, no, it was a hobby starting at like the end of 99. Um, and it didn't become full time until 2006, I'd say, like shortly after the first tour and right after those nice people filmed the documentary about my band. Now, were you tempted to try to, because I, when you have this idea of what you want to do, there's what you want to do and then there's what you think will pay the bills. Did you ever want to be more general in your style or, or the stuff you rapped about? Or when was the moment that there was like a clearly defining moment that you're like, no, what I want to do is I want to do this one thing and speak to this one audience with all my heart and soul. Like, um, was there well, a moment like that? Um, you mean, you mean nerdcore? Like, why am I doing that as opposed to, um, rapping about things that, that people might enjoy? Right. Well, and, and obviously now that's a good you're question. at a point of success, so it's obvious why you did it. But was there a moment when you questioned it and you had some kind of crucible, this clarifying moment when you're like, no, this is what I want to do and I think it'll work? Um, amazingly, it was sort of the opposite, the exact opposite of, um, of the crucible you describe. I was making the songs just for me and, you know, then for like a couple of friends who all, you know, had enough internet to be able to listen to an MP3, which in 1999 was not everybody. Um, you had to install special software specific to your operating system, like listening to getting an MP3 off the internet on your craptastic dial up and making sure it played on your windows 95 installation. These were, these were challenges. So it was, I was expecting an audience to be basically nobody. And then, and then it was, I was expecting it to be like the few other people on song fight. And then I was expecting it to be like, I don't know. I was never expecting it to be something that could be a career. It was, I was doing it for fun. And I kept that. And that, that allowed me to just be rapping about whatever I would want to hear a rap song about, which was, you know, getting girls to pick you up at a Star Wars convention, receiving advanced fee fraud emails from Nigeria, like things, things that I found personally gratifying as rap topics. What? And I had, I had no moment where I was like, all right, this is make or break. I was doing freelance web development stuff and I was able to just very gradually and cautiously shed clients as I accumulated fans until suddenly there were enough fans to pay my rent just through their generosity and I could tell my last client to uh, you know go take a jump in a lake so so was there the reverse moment when maybe I, in my imagination you find yourself on stage and you can't believe how big the audience or how well you did on sales was there was there the reverse moment you're like wow this crap could actually work and I don't have to start doing the other stuff so that's you know it was just like this incredibly slow dawning that I refused to believe was real over the whole course of it until I was suddenly like, you know, sitting in the audience, maybe 2008, watching the documentary premiere. It's like, oh, wait a minute. I'm like in a real band that has a movie about it. And <laughs> Prince Paul is DJing at our set at South by Southwest. And I'm just like suddenly living this thing that is like all these indie rock kids dreams, even though my dream was to sit alone in a room and like write novels or whatever. <laughs> Just sort and of so, randomly so landed in rapping. Now? What are you excited about for the next step here? And obviously, I would imagine that there are certain venues that you are a natural fit for. In my imagination, I picture you rocking to a gigantic crowd at Dragon Con or PAX or uh, any of these large, you know, the, the, the place where, where, quote unquote, your crowd tends to be. Like, what are the You're gigs devil. you look forward to and how do you plan to roll that forward? Um, definitely the highlights of the year are... Uh, are those cons. And I've played all the PAXs that have ever been. Um, That's because awesome. Those, those guys are so nice to us and keep bringing us out. And um, those are generally the, the biggest crowds we're in front of every year. Although I did play one BlizzCon where I was in front of a, a room of 10,000 kids. Um, Holy cow. Do, boy, did they you, not uh, about us. <laughs> some part of you loses it at that point? Or, or, or what? I, do you detach yourself and you just sort of like, this is me and this is what's happening now. And here I am, I'm rapping for 10,000 people live. You definitely have to suppress the part of your, your brain that understands um, what a colossal f up you would be if you forgot your song halfway through in front of 10,000 people. <laughs> but I, you, you have to actually, the blizz, like the, the PAX show is amazing in that 
like the kids who are there in the audience are really supportive and excited to see everybody in the music um, program. And they're just, they're freaking out and jumping up and down. They're doing the hum the big hand motions. They're doing all the stuff. Um, the BlizzCon that we went to, I don't, I don't know if like point, Oh, one percent of that room was interested in seeing our set. They had uh, okay. Look, we're, uh, yeah, I don't know. Do you, do you have a, do you have another performance in you? Something that we could we could get to take us out? Sure. Here we go. It's called. Right. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna set the beat going. Yes. Song's called Yellow Lasers. Um, it was the the beginning of me having any internet notoriety. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> I met her at the Star Wars convention Did I mention she was looking for love? Had to call her bluff Lady, you don't mean how that sounded That thousand pound dude in the note Fat chick shirts astounded Thought she'd take it back Revoke, rewind, resend, retract you heard me, she said, I'll take any man here to descend to the cave where you conquered the fear, and I'll steer you to the side, the force that you choose. Somebody's man enough here. Now who? This girl, you have to understand, would not look out of place on the arm of an attractive man. So the geeks in attendance got jaws on the floor. One extends his saber, but he tripped on his cloak. I stepped to the front, then I spoke. Look, I ain't spitting game. I've got a wookie hat on, but these guys here used to getting spat on by girls. See, you put them in shock in the same Ain't the right con to quote Mr. Spot, but it's highly illogical to me. Girl, look me in the eyes. It is your mind free. Cause I've got something for you. It is shiny. It is clean. Come on up and I'll adore you with the my yellow laser beam. And here's where the bass would go into double time if I had any of my band with me. <laughs> I don't. I have a yeah. play button. Ready for the second verse? Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Sitting in a room upstairs, watching her wind up the buns in her hair. I declare that I'd like to be Luke, unless that's a bit too perverted for you. Well, I could be Jabba, a Jawa, an Ewok. When we talk, ooh la cock, bleak block, wait. I've seen all the flicks, all the books that I've read. I can't remember any character tied to the bed. But that's all right, and I'ma just pretend that I'm encased in carbonite. And why, that's a nice gold bikini. Did you make that? Shows off what you got, no mistake. That's one fine view of Chewbacca you're giving me. Lower that down here. We could be living the linguistic lifestyle of the protocol droid. Here comes the part where I'm not overjoyed. Fire, she said, and before I could scream, got a steaming mouthful of yellow laser beams. Uh, uh, pshew, pshew. I'm hit. I've got something for you. It is shiny. It is clean. Come on up and I'll adore you with the my yellow laser beam. Cause I've got something for you. It is shiny. It is clean. Come on up and I'll adore you with the my yellow laser beam. And anyone with perfect pitch will um, have to forgive me for having no reference note. Woo! Oh, stop key. that. Stop that, MC. Absolutely fantastic. Yellow Lasers is uh, the song. MC Frinalot is the legend who has joined us on NSFW show tonight. Again, frontalot.com slash CD is where you can pre-order his new album, Solved, and download it as soon as you pre-order it. And also, a critical hit is the new single, which you can download or, re or listen to right, right here off the site. Oh, MC yeah, it's all over there. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you uh, for having me. Dude. To, to say that the chat room was a fan of your performance would be a massive, massive understatement. Thank you so much for joining us, MC Pernod. So good to have you here. Also